iPod Evolution, now available for pre-order. Apple's best quarter ever, an iTunes glitch, and Netflix shows profits. It's Thursday, January 24th, 2013, and this is iWake. I'm Tim Chatton, and this is what's going on in the Apple world today. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another edition of iWake. First up is my new book, iPod Evolution. I just wanted to share with everyone that uh, things did go according to plan, and in the majority countries that I will be selling iPod Evolution, it is now available for pre-order. Uh, that's right, uh, 33 countries, I believe, it's now available for pre-order in the process of fixing the other 18 or so that... Uh, don't have a pre-order page as of yet. So if you are in one of those 33 countries, uh, you probably will be. Um, you can now head over to your iPad, open up iBooks, and search for iPod Evolution, and you should find uh, my book, which is uh, an introductory price of $7.99 United States dollars, uh, translating however it is across the country or the world there. And uh, you can get a free sample of the book, and it will be released on the 31st. But if you pre-order today, it'll download automatically when that does come out. So uh, exciting news there for people that have been waiting for my, my book. And uh, there we go. Um, so let's move on from that. And uh, I'm sure we'll talk about that more when, actually, when it comes out uh, next week at Macworld. Uh, next up is a little iTunes glitch that I noticed today. I was coming home, I came home from work, and I noticed that a ton of movies were missing from my collection. About 33 movies, 32 movies, were missing. And somehow, there was this glitch where a bunch of my purchases got tagged as hidden. And when that happens, they disappear from everywhere, it seems. Even downloads that I had to iTunes... I've been downloading movies for archival purposes, and those were even yanked from my iTunes library. They weren't deleted from my hard drive, but they were pulled out of my library because they were marked as hidden. And even when I marked them as unhidden, they requested me to re-download it, but I was able to re-add these things to my library uh, to fix that glitch. But... Bottom line, a very, very weird bug that I'm not sure how it happened or why it happened, but it very much freaked me out as I was trying to watch a movie tonight. It wasn't on my Apple TV, and I thought, oh no, the movie studios did it again. They pulled it. But no, it wasn't that. It was just a weird glitch that I have fixed. So uh, let's move on into some of the big news for today. And the big stuff today is all about Apple's quarterly earnings call. That happened yesterday. And what happened there? Well, they had their best quarter ever. Apple posted $54.5 billion and in net quarterly profits of $13.1 billion. So $54.5 billion of revenue, $13.1 billion in profit. And that compares to a year ago, $46.33 billion with a profit of $13.06 billion. So a little bit more profitable, a lot more in revenue. So even though their gross margin was at 38.6% compared to 44.7%, they made more money. Um, that is kind of cool, pretty awesome. So how's that all break down as far as sales and things like that? So they sold over 75 million iOS devices in that quarter. And uh, according to Tim Cook, they're very confident of products in the pipeline as they continue to focus on innovation and making the best products in the world. Uh, 50%, 56% of their sales were all iPhones. We had 10% in CPU net sales, 20% in the iPad sales, 3% in other, 4% in iPod sales, 7% from the iTunes store. So what else should the, we note here um tomorrow is the anniversary of the mac from 1984 um our team to surprise and delight of our customers per of cook's job is to per, uh, pres preserve corporate culture and they believe they've done that 
Um, let me get into some of the nitty gritty stuff. Um, Tim Cook commented on larger screen sizes for the iPhone, saying uh, they believe the iPhone 5 is the right size and that you get the benefits of a big screen without having to have a big screen. Uh, that's kind of something we already knew, but something he clarified more. Uh, one thing is kind of interesting. He mentioned that 36 new carriers will be getting LTE support for Apple devices, uh, which is pretty cool. No word yet on which carriers, what countries, but that is something to make note of. Um, so next up, uh, Apple TV. They sold 2 million Apple TVs, or over 2 million, which is 60% year-over-year growth there. So this is a market that is continuing to grow. At 2 million, uh, we're a couple of years away from it hitting iPod sales and <laughs> breaking past that, which is exciting uh, seeing its growth there. Um, uh, Tim Cook also feels the halo effect is in full swing with uh, people buying an iPad mini as their first product and buying other things as a result of that. So there is a lot to be said here about Apple's earnings. Basically, they made all the monies in the world <laughs> uh, last quarter, and there's just so much to, to talk about here. Um, Two billion iMessages a day, 250 million iCloud accounts, um, I'm going to go over more of this in tomorrow's episode as I have a little bit more time to dig into it. But overall, a great quarter, and and it's exciting stuff. So let's move on to the last two stories. Next up is Amazon Kindle. Uh, the Kindle Paperweight is now available in Canada. So if you live in Canada and are interested in getting one, it's uh, starting at $139 Canadian dollars. Uh, running up to 199 Canadian dollars for the 3G configuration. So there you go. And last of the day, Netflix announced some profits. Uh, there's 27.15 million streaming subscribers in the U.S., 6.1 million elsewhere. And they're st Netflix is still losing money internationally, but it's doing better than they thought it would. And they did actually make of some money, which I think was unexpected for them. Um, so they had a revenue of nine hundred forty-five million. So nine hundred forty-five million dollars. They didn't even make a billion like Apple, or fifty-six billion like Apple did. But um, they had a profit of eight million dollars. This is surprising, as they were expecting to lose money, or at least the analysts thought this was the case. So, uh, it's good to see Netflix doing well. I certainly like to have them around as a company. I think they serve the digital world well, and I'm glad to see them doing better. So, um, the last note here is DVD subscriptions are shrinking. Now down to 8.2 million from 11.2 at the end of 2011. So, uh, very interesting news there, and I believe that... Is it for show notes today and links today? So um, I'll be back tomorrow for another edition of iWake where I dig more and more into the quarterly earnings. And with that, you can find the show notes at iWakePodcast.com. My book information is at iPodEvolution.net. Also available for pre-order now. Just search for iPod Evolution in iTunes or iBooks on your iPad. So that's how you get it. Free samples are available when in the store. And I also do YouTube videos at youtube.com slash T-C-H-A-T-E-N. Thank you for tuning in to today's show. I will talk to everyone again tomorrow. Have a great Thursday.